Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So this is a new series of iOS interview questions. So like uh, in the coming video, I'm going to talk about various uh, iOS questions. So today's uh, video uh, is on memory management, which is like one of the common topic uh, that is being asked. So yeah, so before going further, if you have uh, not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe it. So this is a very uh, simple project which I have created and uh, I have taken two controllers. So one is the default uh, view controller and then I have taken one more controller as home view controller and I have embedded it in a navigation controller. Just have one button on my view controller and also I have one button on the home view controller. So what is happening like if I run this application and show you. So from view controller, the user can navigate to a home view controller using a present uh, concept like I'm just using present. So if you see here, we have home presented and back dismissed. Okay. Now let's try to understand how the memory management comes or works in iOS. So if you see in home view controller in the view did load, as you know, view did load gets called only one time when the controller gets loaded. I'm just printing that this view is allocated. See, it printed home view controller allocated. And again, I have written a DNIT statement which prints that home view controller deallocated so if you see the moment let's me delete the log go from home uh, if i go to home so the home view controller is allocated and the moment i press back if you see home view controller is deallocated okay so in this case everything is working fine like the controller is getting allocated and the controller it is getting deallocated also okay so here if you see in the view reload i am calling two function but i am not doing anything so in the add timer let's try to add a timer so what i'm going to do I'm just going to write dispatch queue dot main dot async and after I give some time gap so I'll just give dot no plus five dot zero let's say that I'm taking a gap of five seconds and after that I'm just calling a function self dot print help okay or let's say that first I'm not doing anything I'm just commenting this code also so now what is uh, happening once you go to the view to load you are adding a timer okay so let's see that in this case if the memory is getting properly deallocated or not so i'll just go to home come back it got deallocated okay although we have having a timer but we are not doing we're not holding any reference in the time timer okay now what i'm doing i'm just calling the function self dot print dialog now if you see this self is a strong reference of your class that means you are holding a strong reference inside this timer and, and this timer will run after five seconds okay so now if you go from your view controller to home and you come back see tick 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 means it took five seconds and then it got deallocated that means this timer keep a strong hold of this controller and it doesn't allow it to get deallocated so this is what we call as a keeping a strong reference in a class okay and this is what we should you know like not uh, do like we should uh, avoid it because this can lead to memory leakage so in this case obviously the memory leak is happening but it is happening only for five seconds because after five seconds the timer is running it is executing this statement and then it is deallocating the memory okay but how we can let's say that if uh, instead of five if i write here 500 or that means or let's say that if i have some operation which is never going to complete in that case what will happen this class is never going to be delocated okay so for this we have a concept of two things like we can use either weak reference or we have an own reference now both weak and unknown are weak like if i if i talk uh, the difference between a strong weak and unknown so strong is a strong reference it you no know, uh, holds the memory reference it increases the retain count but weak and unknown both don't take the ownership and it doesn't increases the retain count but there's a difference between weak and unknown that unowned can never be nil when you talk about a weak reference it can be nil but unknown can never be nil so the key difference between a strong and a weak and unknown reference is that a strong reference prevents a class instance it points to to from being deallocated okay? in the background what happens that there is a concept of arc like automatic reference counting and that takes care of all the memory thing 
so erc keeps track of the number of the strong reference that it has or that a class instance has and this is also called as a retain count so like uh, when you create an object the retain count increases again when the object is you no know, reference somewhere else that retain count is again increased so throughout the life cycle of a object the retain count you no know, varies from zero to some value and again when the object is delocated the retain count again becomes zero okay but the major difference here is that the arc doesn't take weak and unknown reference into account that means that when we have weak and unknown ref reference and the class and the arc has to delocate a class it will not stop uh, the class from being delocated but if i have a, in this case what is happening that i have a strong reference and when i'm dismissing the controller the arc is stopping the this class from being delocated let's try to make this reference as weak so what i will do v self and then instead of having a uh, strong i just made it weak reference now see in the earlier case what happened it delocated after five second now what will happen the moment i dismiss it it will delocate because as this is a weak reference so it will not take or it will not hold the class reference okay so home back and see the memory got delocated okay so it doesn't hold it and the same thing we can do using unowned so if i use unowned it will have the same result unowned is not optional so that's why it gave error so let's run it again so the application and i'm just going it here and coming back see the memory got delocated but after five seconds the application is going to crash now why it got crashed now if you see what you are writing you are writing an own self that means you are not holding the reference okay but this timer is going to execute after five seconds now before five seconds i came back to my previous screen that means the, the if you see here it already delocated my uh, home view controller and if you see the error what is trying to tell fatal error attempted to read an unknown reference but the object was already delocated means this self is already delocated it was delocated here only see but after that i am trying to use it and call my function and that's what it led to the crash so you are clear that where i have to use a weak reference and where i have to use unknown so weak will work in almost every cases because if it is nil it will simply not going to call but if i using a, an own reference you should be sure that where you have to use it because if the class gets delocated and you are using self after that then it is going to crash your application okay but if you see if even if i'm using an own it is not creating the memory leakage because my object was delocated okay but yeah obviously it got crashed because i'm holding it if i will not hold it it will not crash so see in this case also it already delocated and after this the application is crashing so i think now i made clear that what is weak what is unowned what is strong and in which scenario you have to use weak versus unknown or weak and unknown versus a strong reference okay so now let's go to a common problem like an interview might give two classes like this i have just taken an example of vehicle and car okay and if you see in the init method i am printing both that it is allocated and the init method similarly here also i have a print statement i have a strong reference of car and the car is having a strong reference of vehicle okay now first thing it can be asked like that let's say let's say that i am creating object of vehicle so let vehicle equals to vehicle and what i am passing i am passing id as let's say 1 2 3 4 and car as nil okay now my vehicle object is ready okay similarly sorry i'll create object of car and here i have to give name let's say kia and here we have car object and again in this case the vehicle is nil so now i have two object now let's run it and see the question can be that what will be printed whether it will print allocated delocated both or whether it will just print allocated so in this case what you are doing in line number 32 you are creating object of vehicle okay 
now before that let's even make it like this they can ask like okay i'll just write it like this now what will be the output in this case so what you are trying to do you are creating an object but are you storing it no so if you see in this case it will print both allocated and deallocated for the vehicle because the memory will be assigned but as you are not holding that memory so the arc will automatically deallocate the memory as well what it this can be one of the question now let's comment this line and let's uncomment now in this case what you are doing you are initializing this vehicle and you are storing it in a vehicle object but you are not deallocating it that means the compiler is going to keep this memory so it it is going to print only allocated not deallocated okay now similarly if i uncomment this vehicle allocated and car allocated okay now if i write like this vehicle equals to nil or let's make this object as ops vehicle and type optional and this also car of type optional okay now i'm making vehicle as nil and then car also as nil so now what will happen first it will allocate vehicle allocate car and then it is going to okay both are late so i cannot change so let's change it to where so now it will allocate and it will deallocate both so see vehicle got allocated car got allocated and then both got deallocated now one question in this again which is like what they are going to do vehicle dot car equals to car now i'm creating a strong reference between vehicle and car so now the vice versa also that now vehicle is pointing to my car and car is also pointing to my vehicle now i am doing this nil both many people get confused so the things that vehicle and car will get deallocated but it's not like that because both are having a strong reference of each other so when you try to deallocate vehicle the car will not get uh, allow it to deallocate and when the, you are going to deallocate car the vehicle will not allow it because both are having a strong reference of each other and here comes the next question is that what is a strong return cycle in ios so when you are when two object is having a strong reference of each other that creates a return cycle now how can we avoid it so we can avoid it by making one of the reference as weak that means if object a is having a strong reference with b the vice versa should not be the same it can be we have to make that connection as weak so what i'm going to do here i can write weak where a vehicle vehicle so now the vehicle has a strong reference of car but car has a weak reference of the vehicle and now if you try to deallocate both will get deallocate properly okay so now let's also see with unowned and it should work perfectly because it also create a weak reference so let's run it and see it works perfectly fine so this is the basic question that is generally asked in ios on the memory management and thanks for watching it i'll come up with more and more videos on ios interview so please do like comment and subscribe the channel thanks for watching